Hello everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and let us have a good time. So last time we beat up a couple Germans, and they're still getting beaten up. Uh, we also try to help out the Austrians against the Romanians, but I think we're doing a pretty good job so far. Uh, let's see, minus 5% stability. Now, I asked you guys whether I should join Entente yet. <clears throat> Excuse me, but at this point... Canada looks like it might be pulling out. It definitely looks like they're pulling out. Why? Why would you pull out? Why? <clears throat> Why did you want to get rid of Scotland? I mean, sure, maybe the English don't like the Scottish, but come on, man. Anyways, I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, we got a couple comments, mostly that we need to address construction. This episode, I want to build. We are going to build, 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 build. At the very least, we're only going to have like really one line of civilian factories going at all times. Other than that, it's it's time to build. We have 265 factories. I want 340 by the time we're done with this episode. And it's honestly probably going to be a longer than normal episode. Just because I want to get through a lot of ter a lot of things. And at the time of this recording, I uploaded the wrong video. Um, so, basically, I want to make this a little longer to make up for it. So, we'll see what we can do. You guys, uh, you might be able to do that. That'd be good. Sorry, Canada. Not interested. We have 79 political power. We can reclaim all this stuff. I want to fight the, the terrorists. But I really want to get to partial mobilization first. That's going to be incredibly important. And, oh! Our soldiers are coming back. And Austria joined the Reichspact. Which I knew what would happen when that actually fired. And Germany is about to lose Berlin. Very good. So, oh boy, that's not going to be good for the Russian front, it looks like. That's okay. We gotta keep time going on as fast as possible. Rebuild the south. We'll do this eventually. I still want to fight the terrorists, but um, we need to do that. We need to get Hawaii. You know what? Let's try to get Hawaii. I really want to wait. I really, really, really want to wait first. Let's see. And finish land action with shock and awe. Partial mobilization. We'll do that one first. And spread our political power, and then we will also next do reclaim Hawaii, which we should be able to get. Should be able to get. Should be able to get. And now Russia's front line is getting smaller and smaller because, well, they have to deal with the rest of the Reich's Pact. Hopefully Austria can hold out, but I don't know, man. With the Third International pushing in that hard, that's a bit nuts. Not gonna lie. We can only get 0.52 political power a day. Zoom in so that maybe time can go on a little faster. Let's see. Did I set this up yet? I have not. Instead of 20, go down to 16. <clears throat> and I also have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. We're gonna get, we are going to need more manpower soon enough. Best infantry. I'd love to use these guys. Oh, we have signal companies. Yeah, we might as well use them. Do we have enough support equipment? No, we don't. So let's not do that yet. Not bad. Not great. Not great. Not great. So we need more support companies and more motorized. So do that. And then go down to 30 for now. Put you at the top. Oh, the volunteers are home, which is very good. We want to use basic tanks eventually as well. Put you down at the bottom, that'd be good. Five, five, that'd be nice. Try all the weapons companies. A number of weapons companies have fought for the various traders and rebels against America. Thus, a hearing has been brought forth before Congress to decide their fate. Should we allow them to operate again, or shall it be regarded as traitors and be treated as such? Operate? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's go and grab this, so we get political power. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go down a more dictatorial path as MacArthur, so... That'll be a good thing. Uh, we're gonna do this, these two first as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to reclaim Hawaii, because we always have to fight the terrorists. And there goes Republic of Italy, or the Italian Republic. Weaken long resistance. That's good. That's good. Oh, this is looking better. Let's see. I only wanted one still, so let's continue to make some refineries as well. Uh, let's not. Let's put it there first in Illinois, then Wisconsin, then maybe Indiana. If, and then maybe Iowa. Oh, try the heavy equipment companies. Uh, this is basically the same thing. If you want to read this, go right ahead, but we don't treat traitors nicely. Let's see if we can reclaim Hawaii and see what happens. Come on, please, come on. Oh, construction for monarchy restored in Greece for now. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. It is 41, that's good. Let's grab, we could grab more rubber, but we really need to focus on ships. Really, really focus on ships. Division over big business support is known by the most Democrats that economic reform is necessary to preserve American integrity. And to this end, Democrats differ on the agency and the government must take towards existing industries that are ailing. A proposed civil works program to electrify the Southwest. Using hydroelectric power hit a snag. Oh, Hawaii, why? Um, 
as Democrats could not agree on the role of the public works in the marketplace. The works would be un would able would be able to undercut private electricity companies because they would be able to cross state borders and build dams on public land. Conservative Democrats oppose such intrusion, saying as it violates states' rights to govern trade. More liberal-minded Democrats hold fast that the necessity and p potential of the public works outweigh the, outweigh the risks. Eh, we'll go with the liberal ones. Which one? Has, which one has more support? Twenty-four, thirty-two. Let's go with the more one of the support. Hawaii refuses to join. Oh boy. Oh man, I wanted them to come in. Oh, I can't afford a war with Japan right now. That sucks. I thought we could, we might be able to get them. I can't really afford a war with Japan right now. The government of Hawaii is elected not to return to our nation. Some in DC recommend another occupation to ensure our interests are secure. Others say that without Hawaiian goodwill, any occupation would be a nightmare. What should we do? War, it will be. Well, we're gonna let them go for now. I hate saying that, but. Oh, I'm coming back to Hawaii. Oh boy. Anyone that is their leader right now, or in any government position, they're definitely going to get crushed under me. Well, Bar oh, Barcelona. Oh, you're still fighting down there? Fate of the unions, how great. It's going to be like the fate of Hawaii. You're going to be subjugated harshly when I come back. Uh, we do want to get down here. However, I want to get down here because it has more military factory speed, but let's take the fight abroad. <clears throat> Finally, the top brass is satisfied with the progress we put into the army. Now we just need a target to put that rubber to the road. Good, good, good. And then we'll probably build up <clears throat> someone. National Relations Board. With the Civil War over and Reconstruction now underway, the question of trade unions has been brought up. There goes Berlin. Oh, this one should do like that. There you go. And let's see. Just go to this one first. West Coast. And I'll redo the South first. Why not? Syndicalist bombing. So, something that we should promote more liberal and anti syndicalist unions to be a war against the influence of syndicalism in politics. A few loyalists within the AFL and the defunct Knights of Labor are willing to cooperate with Congress in creating a National Board of Relations. National Labor Relations Board. This board would be able to isolate IWW affiliated unions and give collective bargaining rights to unions that do not wish to see us hang. However, others argued or regard all trade unions as traitors to the country and should be outlawed altogether. Congress has decided to let's see, accept them into the one big board or outlaw all unions. We're going to outlaw all unions. You do not rebel against us. No, no, no. No unions here. Oh, man. Look. Oh, wait. We need to do this, too. There we go. Trial the naval companies, they're traitors and should be treated as such. Absolutely. Uh, right here, capital ship. I love this. Versus that. Deck size of the carriers, that's exactly what we need, so. Send in the army. We could send in the army, get more stability, but we can wait on that. Warp Actually, war propaganda wouldn't be bad. But if we're going to build ships, we better make them nice. There we go. And get more research speed, too, in the process. That's about one, two, three. That's still too much. Make some dockyards. 60%, 70%, 80%, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, which I've been in Massachusetts before. It's kind of nice. Not bad. Boston's kind of nice. Depending which... Some parts of Boston are okay. Some parts of Boston you don't want to go to. But it's like any major city. Oh, no, I want iDeck engineers. Ah, atomic research. Yes, yes. We could get better radar, which we actually will get, because we still got to focus more on our naval attack. Uh, industrial companies. I love exile and getting rid of these traders. They deserve it. We are at peace, so I'm going to go ahead and do war propaganda. Just because when we go to war, eventually our war support will go down, so I'm just doing this preemptively. Alright, you guys. How's it looking? Do you guys need a train? Not really. That's good. Eisenhower, how are you? Is there anyone else I can send volunteers to? Not these guys, since I... Since I can't send them to Austria-Hungary since they are fighting um, the Russians, which was a big mistake. Kind of a big mistake by me. Assembly line production, cool. Go ahead and grab, we could grab that. Are we out of resources? Oh, we actually have too many for this, nice. Beautiful. Well, for now. We're going to need them later, but that's okay. Uh, keep going. I'd love that, but we're going to really focus on carriers this campaign. And we're going to try to go as far as fast as we can. Oh god, the Third International is pushing very well against the Austrians. That is disappointing. That is very disappointing. Do you guys have any planes? You kind of do. Not really fighting too much. Could you actually win here? Oh, you could. Nice. Uh, von Manstein. Von Manstein. Yeah, I'm going to save a political power to rebuild everything here. Because the amount of stability you get from this would probably be more than rebuilding, but <clears throat> I'd rather not lose political power, recruitable population factor, and re division recover recovery rate doesn't really matter too much right now, though. So it is what it is. Ah, oh, look, beautiful. 
Taking the fight abroad, great. And a double bonus for land auction. Well, we're kind of late on that, but whatever. Hey, we're getting attacked. Nice. Well, at least Berlin fell. That's a good thing. So much air XP. We actually might want to do a air reduction a little bit as well, which might be a good thing. Take the fight abroad. Increase military spending. Congress must approve a larger army budget for the coming year. It will undoubtedly help the civilian economy down the line. Let's hope so. Yeah, we need the Pacific Islands. We'll get there. We will get there. I promise you that. Uh, re release of the Joint Army Navy photo Phonetic Alphabet. If you want to read this, it's just like talking about like how we're going to read stuff now, like X-ray yoke and zebra. While similar radio systems have been developed for the Canadians and the Germans, the fact that we've finally taken the task of standardizing it means we're finally catching up with the lessons we missed in the Great War. And we get more army XP, which is great. I'm really hammering home on this thing right now. We've got that. Make sure we get better cruiser armor, really focusing on the Navy and industry right now. Which is a great thing. I wonder if we just use that. Pop. Good. Any more research coming along? Do we have any ships? Yes, we do. <clears throat> Some light cruisers. I'm going to throw you right here. Let's see. This is 22 screens. But we need... That's 9 ships. 36. Yeah, we definitely need more screens on this one. Holy crap, that's not good. See, that's 21 now, with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, that is okay. I don't really trust these destroyers at all, but that's an okay task force. That's definitely okay. So we definitely need a lot more cruisers for the first one. And there goes Illyria. Oh boy. 30 days, about a month. Still fighting terrorists, that's fine. Yeah, I will definitely fight the Third International once we're good and ready. Once we have a Bigger navy, m much larger uh, industry as well. More military factories. Uh, Michigan. We have two going on. Uh, I guess Indiana, you're next. And then West Virginia. That'll be good. How many more factories do we need? We're doing better on this. We're doing better on motorized. Well, not that much better. Close enough. Do we have enough artillery, actually? We do. I'm going to do that. Share the wealth of factories for from the artillery factory. I'm going to put you back on 15, because we are definitely going to need more of you later on. Uh, actually, keep it, a, keep it there. I know I'd have to review. Invest all the political power. Because we're going to get an even bigger buff soon. Grab that. Oh, we're going to make some really good light cruisers. Like some of the best we've ever seen. Assess with economy would be nice. That would be nice, but really what we really, really want. 30% construction speed bonus. That's what we're talking about. That's what I'm all about right now. Bonus, 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 bonus. You know what? Get another one out. We gotta get more dockyards. Only one on civilian factories for now. Just one. This is this is the episode we're industrializing. Holy crap. Like, tons and tons and tons. That's why I joined the Entente. Because that little bonus to give you, that's great. If you want to read about the adoption of the M1 helmet, it's great. So we're no longer using the Brody helmet from the British. Romania's gone again. Cool. The original test item was known as a TS-3 and received a favorable report from Infantry Board in the recent weeks. With the approval of the War Department, the M1 helmet will soon enter mass production to supply our rapidly growing army. Glad we finally got rid of the Brodies. <clears throat> I knew a kid named Brody once. He was a okay kid, you know. But this time, he's probably grown up now. Can we win here? my voice stop cracking, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Grab that next one, too. Spend that naval XP. Try all the Unionist generals, but let's do the focus first so we can let it kind of go on. New arms factories. The main trouble with creating a military industry is that facilities under our control were already reduced from Great Depression levels to reduce redundancies. <clears throat> We've had to expand facilities and repurpose old buildings in order to manufacture parts needed for heavy weapons in our territory. <clears throat> if you look at that, we already have 30 more factories than what we began with, so. With the Civil War over and our enemies at our mercy, the army has finally begun the trials against the Unionist generals. While some generals have fled into exile, the generals who were caught are now waiting for the verdict of the military tribunal. However, despite what the public believes, it's not as easy to carry out the trials as it was originally anticipated. Most trial generals don't even have any particular record of unnecessary violence, and even those that do still claim they were following orders. During the trials, and to the surprise of high command, General Eisenhower has spoken in favor of absolution for his past colleagues, citing the strange circumstances of their defection and their ultimate loyalty to... bombings? Oh, uh, no. 
ultimate loyalty towards the American peoples as evidence of their innocence. Despite his defense, though, the judges believe that he may be biased in the case as he was known to be friends with Patton and his subordinates before the Civil War, and there's no denying that in America's darkest hour, they and many others who followed him ended up on the wrong side of history out of their own volition. While some of the captured generals have sworn to even quit if forgiven, there are other men who have pledged to defend the America we saved if they are forgiven, but the final decision rests with the jury. Spare them? Which I want Patton so badly. Discharge them? Exile is the only thing the traitors deserve. Like I said, we're going to go with like full... Oh, not Vienna. No, Kaiser Karl, no. But uh, we're going to go full dictator, so we got to do exile. We have to do it. Oh, not the Austrian Empire. No, Karl. No. Oh, why did I help out the Russians? Oh, Karl, why? I felt, I sound like I'm really in pain there. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, Kaiser Karl, I'm sorry. It is what it is. Cool. And let's rebuild... West Virginia, Nevada, or like the entire West Coast. We're going to choose the entire West Coast because as much as I love West Virginia, as much as I love Nevada, that's just better. And this is the exact same theme of the Pacific Generals. It's exile. I'm sorry, man, but I'm not really sorry. You chose your path. I've chosen my path. <sighs> Let's get some better armor research because we need to do that too. Light tank manufacturers. More breakthrough for armor, more max speed, better research times. I love it. Transylvania's gone. Help them out. And coffee is a great thing. A truly wondrous invention. Ah, oh, the Swedes are there, and the Dan Danish are there too. <laughs> that is one of the worst times that Kaiser Wilhelm II could have died. That is absolutely god-awful times to die. Oh, well, I'm sorry for your loss, but uh, it is what it is. Get up here so we can attack Hamburg. Begin a nice. There you go. Should be able to take it out. Hey, look, 7% stability. That's not bad. That is not bad whatsoever. Chaffee, how you doing? Doing pretty well. How is Ord? Field Marshal Ord. From Colorado. Born in 1886. Getting more army XP. I love it. Love it. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, the Commune of France has invaded Ireland. Holy smokes. Woo, that's not good. Oh, let's grab that so we can get uh, light cruisers out faster. Let's get them all researched and done. There goes Bulgaria. Bulgaria. How's this looking? Um, not bad. But even more dockyards. Like, we need a navy. We got to take out the Japanese, and we're going to build a lot of dockyards in New York City. Woo! Improved radar? Good. We're going to get even more radar right now, probably, just so that we can get even more radar on our ships. That's why I want more radar. And the collapse, although I expect the Kaiserreich is about to fall, my friends. We're already at 310 factories, only 18 minutes into this video. I think that's bueno. Oh, and now there's going to be quite a bit of lag here, which is okay. Which is definitely okay. Uh, the German Kaiser, which he just took that position, his dad died. It's probably Wilhelm III who's leading it now. We'll see what happens. That is so sad. I'm really more distracted by Kaiser Karl, though. Oh, crud, I'm sorry about that. That's a super loud sound effects. And a little bit more lag. We'll see what happens. Hopefully our soldiers stay here so we can help beat them up. Oh my goodness, it's lagging very hard. But hey, you know what? At least we have 8% stability. 64% war support. And probably the next time we get political power, I'm going to have to raise conscription level. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, and he also do focus more on my ear doctrine. It's not good, we've already 500. Oh! Look, oh, Austrian Empire, why? Why? What have I done? I'm gonna go ahead and zoom through here, that's fine. Oh, Austria. Oh, Austria. Now, nah, someone might be getting really slow. Since it's lagging so hard. Yeah, Russia, with my help, Russia's done very well. And the German Empire was annexed. Okay. Well, wait, I still have my volunteers here. Who are you, are you, still, who are you fighting still? Oh, you white pieced out some of these nations, like Slovakia. Oh, I still gotta fight the remnants of these guys. That's fine. St. Nicholas bombing, St. Second Mahidas revolt. Cool, I guess. Well, I'm not sure who else you're fighting. We'll find a way to kill them off. Albania? 
They're independent, huh? They're actually independent. Oh, they might have, they probably were part of the Reichspack. That's what's up. Construction of the Pentagon, end of the international mandate. At 1 o'clock, July 26, 1941, High Commissioner Bodenheimer officially suspended the Council for the International Mandate for the Chinese Concessions that it comes to Poland out, and proceeded to a ceremony with Sigmund Bodenheimer, where he entrusted his authority over the cities of the Foreign Mandate to his government were, and the rightful China in perpetuity. He was then relieved of his duties and returned to his embassy to make the journey back to Germany to find out what employment he could get in the new regime. Over the next few days, countless Europeans will doubtlessly follow him. While the new Shanghai will probably not prove as prosperous as to our nation as the old, there is little we can do as a collapse of most other imperialist powers around the world. It was the very instigator of the handout school or hangover, whatever. Uh, we can wait on all this stuff. I like military research and more another military factory, but I want to finish up this stuff first before we do this stuff. This stuff would be good to do. Martial law, stability, resistance, growth, the power of the army, more population. That's the part of the army. Progressus has already risen in our new military administration. The army and navy are constantly at each other's throats and over funding and political kickbacks. We need to relegate the navy to a secondary governmental position and grant the army full power. Over here, we're going to grab this because we really, really want to get this done quickly. So, let's let time go on now. With the shortcomings of the main navy and munitions buildings, the search for more permanent fitting office space for the War Department has been ongoing for months already. First, the military turned to the head of the army's construction division, G Brigadier General Brenhan Burke Somerville. He, in turn, tasked the chief of the design section, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Casey, to come up with a building that would fit a five-sided parcel of land that had already been hastily purchased just below Arlington National Cemetery on the Virginia side of the Potomac River, which would house all the War Department's components. Originally, the building was meant to be placed in a location known as the Arlington Farms, where the road's shape resembled a pentagon, which has forced ar uh, the architect team to adapt the design to said geographic space. Many in the department, however, are questioning if positioning the building between the cemetery, which by all means is considered hollow ground for every American, and the stunning view of Washington, D.C. is really appropriate, and two new locations have been proposed for their construction. Unfortunately, the requests for the materials have already been designed to accommodate a pentagonal shape, so even if, even if we were to change the building location, the building will still be made in that shape, but we still need to decide where the pentagon should be. I'll keep it. I don't want to lose political power. Put it in Arlington Cemetery. Uh, just use the now useless Hoover Field. I don't want to lose too much political power. Political power is still kind of necessary. But like I said, we have Poland here. We have Romania. We have Croatia. And I will get involved in this beast though if it looks really ugly. Just to let you know. We have Hungarian Socialist Republic, led by Simon. And you have no focus tree, which is disappointing, whatever. Uh, Romania is under Michael the First, which is actually kind of cool. We have Bulgaria, which... Is here. Let's see what happens else. Albania, you got Kosovo. Okay then. Greece is back. We have an advanced carrier hull. Very good. Very good. Uh oh, you actually got port. Nice. Who owns oh who is this? This is ah, Russian puppet. Cool. Restore the monarchy. So the monarchy is back instead of under Austria, it's now under Russia. Oh, this is disgusting. You know what? I'm gonna I'm getting involved in this. I'm sorry, but I can't really deal with this. Let's see. You guys are French. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just. I have to get involved. I don't want to see this. I'm gonna give this all to Bulgaria. Oh, Bulgaria. Serbia. And we'll make sure that these lands are a little bit more divided up. I'm sorry, but I'm not really sorry, because I want to reduce the lag as much as possible. Uh, just do this. It'll be fine. Just give it all of this, Serbia. They can make Yugoslavia or something probably. Is that a core? That's not a core. Give it to Serbia. There you go. I know I shouldn't be getting involved. Actually, Albania, are you a puppet? You're not. You know what? We'll leave Albania like that. That's fine with me. I really hate getting, getting involved like this. Uh, oh, there's two Germanys now. And, ah, that's not bad. You guys got that stuff. The Royal Wedding. Interesting. I'm just going to help you guys out here. I really don't want to get involved, but it is what it is. So, since we took Russian territory away from the and give it to the Third International. We'll fl flip-flop things just a little bit to see what happens. I'll just give it to these guys. Just transfer it over. Oh man, that lag. Ah, there it is. Transfer. That that, that just makes it look nicer. Uh, we have Slovakia still here. Uh, who should get this? Probably not. Actually, you know what? We'll give it to Hungary since this is Russian land. That's gonna look kind of ugly, but that's okay. And is that cord? That's a co just a cord for him. I think technically it should be cord. Hey, Prussia's here too. We might just give a little bit more of a dribble of land to the Third International. Balance this out just a little bit more. Since we did give a lot of the Russian lands. Ooh, there goes Denmark. To the Third International. Oh, you guys are still here. Uh, 
getting involved in peace deals is always a bad idea, though. Alright, so you should be starting to integrate a lot of this land together. Learners Valonia is gone. That's cool. They can do education reform. Integrate the Montenegrin community. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. The basic manifesto. Serbian economy. Oh, German government exile. You know what? Just help them out. Because I just, I hate the lag in this game sometimes. I just really hate it. Like right now. Cool. Better guns. Better guns. Better ships. Better navy. That might be the motto for the navy. You never know. Cool. You know what? I'm just going to core for them. Just to make it easier for everyone here. Oh, I'm not going to core Montenegro for them though. There you go. That should be nicer for you. Oh, not Chaffee. No, after months of struggle in the hospital. Uh, Chaffee has unfortunately passed away due to cancer. Considered by many as the father of the American Armored Corps, the mentor of many tank crews and officers, and one of the most main reformers of the U.S. Army, has taken most of the high command by surprise. Luckily, it's laid out his plans to high command. Clearly, so while his death is a tragic turn of events, it won't hinder our Army reforms, which is good, but uh, no. Why? Well, we got to have a huge funeral service for a man. That's not cool. You're not allowed to die. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I had to do that against for Serbia, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, Japan's definitely going to war. Uh, oh, let's see. Let's look at this. Uh, that's not bad, Slovakia. <sighs> you know what? I gave a lot of Russian lands to these guys. It's just still Russian land down here. That's oh, Bulgaria got quite a bit out of this. Got quite a bit. Um. Like I said, I really don't want to get involved in peace deals too much. But... Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah, giving more Russian lands to the... To the Third International something I really don't want to do. So, here's what we're going to do. This is disgusting. And this is not going to happen. I really hate getting involved like this. There you go. Give more land, but we're going to give Russians this group here. This makes it more like an Iron Curtain. Sort of. There you go. And hopefully they release them. So that looks, a l probably, hopefully, it'll be a little bit better. So they got all of the Netherlands, of course. But they'll get all this, release some. Hey, Shock and All's done. Great, 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 great. Get some medium tanks. And they should be releasing them, maybe? Maybe not? Cool, not bad. Uh, hopefully they'll release them. We'll see what happens. Alright, cool. Hey, they did. See? I knew they would do that. Now, that's a little bit better. Just, I hate border gore. I like making sure things are nice and neat. Empower the army. Let's go ahead and get some more stability by doing... What? This over here. Old soldiers never die. The new regime recognizes the long struggle of the officers that left their homes to protect their nation and to the many that didn't return home. Thanks to an executive order, officers may now pursue a technical education in universities or go into law. This will ensure loyalty long after we fade away. Hopefully we don't fade away, though. Mm, why did you split these up into... Flanders Valonia? Wall Walloon. Mm. I was thinking about reuniting these guys, but now we're not going to do that. I'm not going to get that involved. All right, well, you guys are back in Scotland. And they completely took out Ireland now, almost. Dublin's on under fire. Uh, that's disappointing. Oh, they even got that. Oh, look at that. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so I really don't want to build ships until we got the better ships, but... We can do carriers first, that's fine. Get some more hangar space, that'd be good. That's why I want better radar. Uh, Anti-air needs to be improved eventually. Better of that, and we need better secondary batteries. But you know what? That's good enough for now. You're done. Good. American theater. You're done with the carriers. We're only going to keep one on carriers for now, just because I don't want too many carriers for where, for our purposes. Okay, never mind. Let's get two. We have a lot of task forces, and I will build up. Let's see. That's good. That's good. More stuff. Capital gunnery. Dreadnoughts would be nice. Um, we need that. We have, I think, pretty much everything ready for cruisers to go. We got that. We got this is coming along. We need more things to shoot through with that. So once this is done, advanced light guns, we're going to make a lot of light cruisers. Our industry. Oh my goodness. Now we got to keep focusing more on this. Hey, we, actually, we already hit our target goal. Look how many factories we got now. 
That's good. Ooh, 90%. Yes, please. There you go. We're already 358. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We need more motorized, of course. We got plenty of artillery for now. Support equipment is looking pretty good, but I'm going to ruin it right now, probably. Mm, 30 is good. Monarchy, once again, has been restored. Oh. We don't need this, probably. Probably don't need that either. Improved cruiser hull, we don't need that either. It's not bad. But that's pretty much outdated at this point. You only make one more. We should have left as long as bombings. God dang terrorists. Oh, uh, let's go and take out the terrorists again. Oh, hey! Puerto Rico changed your uh, flag as well. Nice. All soldiers never die. Oh, where are you guys at? You're still there. Uh, let's see. Can we help you out here, maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Everything's so spread out now. Oh, you actually invaded down there? Nice job, guys. Yeah, there's not really much we can do with you. Uh, just gonna hang out then. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yemen is just fine because that's. Oh, you know what else? We could maybe take Gollum away from Sweden. We'll see what happens. I take investments. Just grab more civilian factories so we can build, 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 build. We need more. Oh, God, no. We need more of that. Yeah. That's most definitely fine for me. Well, for whatever we need to make sure we have a good enough industry for now. Bring you guys back up. Up, oh, and I knew the German government in exile would do that. It's fine. Keep making one at least for now so we can keep, keep trading stuff away. Even better radar. Even though we could extract more rubber, that would be good. What is Yemen just buying on us for? That's a big Egypt. That's a big Egypt, man. Dofor? Dofar. Oh, it's probably over here. Yeah, it is. Must have, of course. Yeah, but the Anton's doing pretty well in India. Not great. What could be worse? No, we good. 13% stability, not bad, not bad. 345 factories. Well, we did have to decrease it by a little bit, but that's okay. <clears throat> Republic of Austria, huh? Nope, not getting involved. I'm going to use your engineers as best as I possibly can and to build my own stuff up. Old soldiers never die, though. Oh, how much longer do we have to wait? It's five days. Can't you just wait a little bit? Oh, you can't wait a little bit longer, huh? You're going to wait, though. All right. So, uh, the Commander-in-Chief, the role of President as Commander-in-Chief goes back to President Washington. Washington said the President of retiring from active duty upon taking office, which MacArthur promises he will do once the national emergency is ended. Like Washington, MacArthur will remain ready to respond to the threats to the nation. So, more stability, recruitable popu population factor, war support, all the best stuff that you could really, really want. Right, come on, get this gun. Come on, get it done, get it done, get it done. We need light cruisers. Beautiful. We're gonna grab more rubber. Great. All right. Now we can get rid of that. Let's first build up better advanced light cruisers. Cool. And we have enough naval XP for this, which is great. We need better anti-air. I'm going to put more anti-air on here first anyways, just because we really need it. Escort level 4, that's so nice. Radar level 3, that's so beautiful. Oh, we're, this is going to be probably the best cruiser we'll make in this campaign. Medium batteries, we don't believe in medium batteries. We prefer escort batteries. And double up on them. Cool, not bad. Not bad. Lots of them, though. Tons of them. We need so much chromium, it's not even funny. But we can afford it. We're America. When you doubt, just make even more. That's what we really, really need right now, though. Uh, and then we'll, next up, we'll focus on dreadnoughts, which would be awesome. Cool. South Africa? We love you, South Africa. We're really investing in South Africa. Defender citizens, that's fine. Oh, that really did hurt us a little bit. That's fine. Whatever. Dockyard-wise, we're doing great. Military-wise, military factory-wise. I think we're doing pretty well as well. Do we have any tactical bomber support? No, we're making... Oh, do we not have enough guns? No, we've got plenty of guns. Light tanks are coming along as well. Nice. So we got 30 here. Doing better. Advanced heavy hulls. Awesome. Awesome. We might make subs, but let's go ahead and do this since we have so much air XP already. Just uh, ace generation. More air superiority. We get more daily army XP. 
air XP, so we might as well use it while we got it, right? Yeah, exactly. Get six more metric. Six more dockyards, which would be nice as well. Uh, now, off screen, I might just make it eventually so that Russia does go to war with the Third International. That's probably what's going to happen between this episode and the next, because we don't want to see peace here. That's not fun. We want to see a lot of people go kaboom, and look at that. We've got a bigger army here on the border between us and Mexico. That's so nice. Eventually, we do want to build us all up, so... You might as well throw it in there. I really don't care about where we build first, so... Just so that we build it up at all times. And I don't want to forget Alaska as well. Ah, uh, Louisiana. Been there barely, but it's very hot down there. I always, like in every American campaign, uh, I always talk about the states. Like, each individual state where I've been, and stuff like that. It seems very natural. It's like, oh, I've been there. Oh, I've been there. Oh, I haven't been there. I never want to go there. You know. Cool. Very nice, very nice. Nope. Okay, cool. So next up, we'll probably... You know, West Virginia or Nevada. Capital ship gunnery. Cool. So that should be it. For the heavy ships for now. Not bad. Cool. Let's go back over here. And we're doing that. We don't need more fuel. Maybe more extraction could be really good. Let's grab that since we're getting into the next year. Ah, uh, yes. Good. Oh, God. There's nothing on here. Good Lord. A super heavy batteries. You know what? You might as well. Look how slow our ships are going to be. Fire control. I don't want to hurt my reliability. There you go. That's... Oh, yeah. That's nice. Level... Oh, armored cruiser. Battleship armor 3. Yes, please. Uh, grab some of that. Uh, secondary batteries would be nice. Don't want to slow, slow us down by too much. Throw that on there. Get some more anti-air. This is not bad. Anti-air is not great. Armor is pretty good, though. Good. Beautiful. Cool. Okay, so... You're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. Dreadnought Advanced. Dreadnought Hull A2. This is the one I think we just did. No, it's not, actually. This is the one we just did. Yes, Battleship. Why is that one? Oh, you probably have bigger cannons. You probably put max, maxed out. Yeah, they got two of the cannons there. Oh, you level four armor. Huh. Level 4. Level 5? Oh my gosh, super heavy armor. Holy crudderinos. Could I do that? I can do both. You know, we can do both, man. I can't really tell the difference here. Heavy batteries. I don't want to slow them down too much. We probably don't need that next one, so. You know what? Let's use both. That's a lot of firepower in the water, then. Let's just swap them every other one. Commander Chief, great. Uh, let's do National Youth Administration. The simultaneous pull to mandate a higher working age is countered by the multitudes, there goes Dublin, of unemployed youth strewn across America. The solution is to establish a National Youth Administration in order to provide work and education to Americans too young to vote. To get more war support, so we can get down to the American Legion, more stability, and recover more from the Civil War. Which is a good thing. Which is a great thing, actually. Cool. Two different types of battleships. You know, usually I don't like doing that. But you know what? If the firepower is there, we'll use them probably. Saudi Arabia, Muscat. Uh, still one only, please, on factories. Or civilian factories. That'd be nice. That's good. That's good. 50%. Wisconsin. No, that's Wisconsin. Minnesota. There you go. Nice. Good. Ooh. You know what? I think we've, we still accomplished our goal, which is great. The Union of Brazil seeks investment. We've been approached by the Brazilian government asking us to invest in their new steel production plants. While they most certainly need the help, we stand little to gain directly on such a long-term investment, and that's what we'd be wise to consider options. Let them do it. Uh, you are in the Third International, it looks like. So I don't want to help you. They should develop their own country. But if we help them out, we get investment. We lose political power. Nope. You god dang godless. Red is red people's red peoples. That sounds really bad. Depending on people. Uh 
Couple bombings. You red terrorists. That's what they are. Red terrorists. Cool. You guys, you definitely come to this this lead up here. Most definitely. Oh, there goes Russia Empire coming to France. Coming to France. It's not good. Yeah, I'll probably give a little bit once Sweden is fully dead, we'll give a little bit more of Sweden to the Russia than anything else, probably. Yeah, gotta keep an eye on that manpower. Woo! Woo! One, two, three, four. How's the Oh, bombings. Oh, there goes a Pope. That's not bad. We got enough carrier planes, actually. Are we making any? Yeah, we are. Cool. So we're looking really good on everything here. So let's ruin our divisions. Export plane, planes to Venezuela. We've been promoted or approached by an officer from Venezuela military looking to buy a modest amount of fighters for the use in their air force. While we obviously would have to say goodbye to part of our fighter shock pile, it would be a rather lucrative contract that would stimulate our arms industry, which we are going to do. Normal Marines. Yes, 40 combat with our best. Uh, best infantry. Signal companies, yes please. Oh, Russian Empire declared war on Iran. Oh, we get our soldiers back. Great. Army Loyalists, I love you, but you did a great job. You guys, I'm actually going to strip you of this for now, because you don't need it, because you need military police. You're going to be garrisons for now. Armor divisions, not bad. Put some maintenance companies on them. And then put some signal companies on them. That would be great. Um, You guys come here. Panama Canal Zone, guys? No. Normal Marines, but we don't have enough infantry for that yet. Russia is going crazy. McAdoo has died. Former President McAdoo has passed away in his home in California. He's left behind a controversial legacy. Many Americans still blame him for the start of the Depression and the political crisis that came from its lead into the Civil War. While one, he was, he was and is praised for his work in regards to a number of progressive issues, notably women's suffrage, he was never able to get prohibition passed, something he pushed for several times in Congress to no avail. He leaves behind a divided legacy, still exists despite this. MacArthur's remarked on McAdoo's passing and offered his condolences to the family and praised his work. He will be missed. Well, they'll be missed by some. Mm, yeah, we're gonna make them so we might as well use them, right? We need more army XP. God dang. Alright, so, yeah, we gotta raise our conscription level from volunteer only to limited conscription. We have to do that. I'd love to join, but now nah, we good. Bulgaria's looking. Look at that Bulgaria. That's nice and thick. Now, they don't have Dobrujda, or Dobrodja, but that looks nice and thick. I like that. Oh! Oh! Oh, what the heck? Turkey went to war with them. Oh, because it's in third, inter not third international, but Russia's doing a good job. Whew! The Republic of Italy is looking really nice. Oh boy. Mm. 42, happy 1942. Research speed. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. I hate stealing these Russian territory away. Let's give it to Sicily just so it looks nicer, please. We need more stuff from the Third International to give it to Russia. We'll see what happens once the peace is done. Russia definitely is owed some stuff. So. Oh, you're fighting the pack down here, huh? I can't send a volunteer since, well, we're in the same alliance. I wish you could just go to war and help your allies out against just one group of people. Oh, look at that. We got enough for medium tanks now. Great. Could use more of this, though. It's fine. 370, not enough. Never enough. Uh, is there anyone here that we can help out instead? National Youth Administration, go to Canada. There you go. And let us do the American Legion. While well, the American Legion National Commander Smithley Butler, now a fugitive, is not necessary to rebuild the organization or remove the stain of partisan politics. No longer will the national commanders be permitted to campaign for politicians, nor will they be permitted to stay once they are career politicians. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, that was looking great. Best infantry? I would love to have best infantry, but we can't really afford it right now. Soon enough, though. Oh, let's go ahead and ruin everything here. There we go. We had 5,000 pieces of support equipment. Now we have. 3,300. Not bad, not bad. So everyone here should probably need a tray now. <clears throat> Arms export. No, no, not that. Uh, you guys come over here. That's an hour. Nope. Nope. Yeah, 45,000 soldiers. Not enough. Well, it is, Italy's looking pretty good. Turkey's going to fall. I could send some more volunteers to Russia, but do I really feel like it? I probably actually do. It's 42. Let's get some better guns. Oh, we already are doing that. Let's get some better artillery. Oh, my goodness. We need to really do that. Um, I guess we could, yeah. Why not? How many guys can we send over? Three. Oh, there you go. I could send mountaineers, but whatever. There you go. 
See what you can do. Plane wise, how are we doing? Do we have any other regular planes somewhere around here? What are you doing? You got nothing? No? There's a destroyer over there. Oh, there's 400. Oh, do we not have any fighters? We got carrier fighters. We got a few fighters here and there. Someone's capitulated. Sweden? Oh, you know Burma. Cool. Cool. Uh, you guys could train. How many planes can we send? Nine. Oh, well, we actually, we can send all of them. Come to Anatolia. We get more air XP. That'd be kind of nice. Do we have any more ships yet? No, we don't. God dang, that sucks. A lot more dockyard output, but construction speeds. Oh wow, we are we are done building stuff up, but not really. Missouri, you're next. Let's see, military factory wise. Missouri, you're still up there. Cool. That's good. Oh, they're in Petrograd State for Alaska. Alaska proposed to the Congress to be admitted to the U.S. as a state. Should they be admitted with all that entails, or should it be remain a territory? Oh no, let's get them as a state. That sounds like fun. More dockyards. 80%. That's good. You know, that's okay. One, one, that's fine. We built up Michigan. I've got nothing against the Michiganders, not too much. Just enough. Uh, motorized, that'd be good. Do that first. Plenty of carrier planes. Artillery's looking great. Uh, amphibious tanks, we'll get to that soon enough. Normal Marines? Did I? Oh, we can convert them. Yeah, that's right. That's fine. Can I convert them now? No, I cannot. That sucks. Cool, Petrograd. Led by. Um. Ord. Wow, you really don't need any help, probably. Oh, no, no. I want you to be led by. No, I want to do this. Uh, where is he? No. Oh, wait. Oh, the American Legion. Very good. Wait, I can't switch your role? Oh, that sucks. Come on, man. Well, it doesn't really matter. Cool. Let's do this one. Uh, loyal to the flag. Unlike the tyrants and despots that are common in Americas, MacArthur did desire not to be a great man, but to be a respected and moral leader of the Americans. Loyal to the unchanging ideal of America must be put above himself, so as long as MacArthur's popularity holds out. I love it. More stability, more support. We're out of manpower. God dang it, that sucks. We need more of that. We need more of that. We could get down here. We could use these better light tanks, but we can probably wait for now. 42. Oh, we already have armored cars. We actually should, should make some more armored cars. We're done with that. One. We could do that as well. 42. More rubber. Just more rubber all around. Yeah, we need more manpower. Oh my goodness. I think we need to go to war to get more manpower eventually. Hmm. War, war propaganda could be good, but... No. We could go actually do extensive conscription. We might do that, since we are literally out of manpower right now. Uh, there goes Paraguay. Good job. On certain times. Hey, 3,000 manpower? That's the beginning of the month, so... Go figure. Not bad. Not bad. So we made this a state. That should be a core. It is a core. Good. Ooh, we have a lot of radar around here. Hmm. Radar would be pretty nice to have. Pretty necessary as well. We're gonna build in Florida, though. Why? So that when we invade Puerto Rico, and when they might join another enemy faction, probably if they're international, we'll be ready for them. Oh, look at these. We got more divisions now. That's so nice. So nice to have. Come on, guys. Keep training. Keep training. If you need it, especially. Especially if you need it. Yeah, we'll have to raise our conscription level, which sucks. Whatever. <clears throat> well, there goes Turkey. As soon as I showed up, they, they died. Cool. Let time go on. I can't afford a deposit. We gotta get far as we possibly can. And Turkey's probably being liberated. Cool. Liberia. Cool. There we go. It's better. Good. Even better. Actually, do we get... I think we got enough fighters, right? We should have enough fighters. Oh, we can't. Oh, God, we can't deploy because they have no manpower. Oh, that sucks. 
That really sucks. We're not even mobilizing anymore. Yeah, we have to do this. But at least we get more stability and recruitable population factor. We're currently at 58%. God dang. <clears throat> We're just a little bit more than half of what we should have. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Oh. Japan is giving, being very aggressive. So obviously not in this episode, but in the next episode we will be at war with the Third International. I promise you that. Oh, that's not bad. They join the Entente. Oh, and we'll also go down. Okay, right, so here's the here's the deal. We to we I want to go down and rebuild the Monroe Doctrine. I don't want to do enter the fray because when we play the federal government again someday, we, we'll go down that path because Fortress America is okay. I really don't care about Fortress America. We will enter the fray, but we need to rebuild the Monroe Doctrine. So after this episode, we will join the Entente. Well, we already are in the Entente, but then we'll leave so we can do rebuild the Monroe Doctrine and pretty much kill everyone. That's the plan. Sounds very American, I know. And it is. Thank God it is. Uh, military police. You know, get some field hospitals. Are we using them even? We are. Good. Good. We got plenty of support equipment. Go ahead and lower it by five then. We've got enough for now. Everything's looking really great. Except tactical bombers, but that's okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and set up a naval invasion. We will get ready to fight the Mexican menace, though. Alright, you guys. Come from Miami. If we can. If the game doesn't, the game doesn't lag too hard. Peace conference. Cool. Argentina's gone. Nice. To Puerto Rico. San Juan. Loyal to the flag? You bet your butt you should be. Well, this will defend Liberty Bond. That's kind of nice. More military factors would be good. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to get to here first. So, martial law. At congressional appro approval, Javier's corpus is suspended in accordance with the Constitution. As a threat of invasion from syndicals, unpopular forces still loomed over part of the land. The writ of Javier's corpus and free speech is still suspended for political expediency. Which is, depending on your opinion, good or bad. Wow, there's some serious lag. Probably people being released. That's fine. Uh, Ord, we could use you there, I suppose. We kind of want to use Eisenhower for that, though. Oh my gosh, come on, lag. There we go. Uh, just use Ord for now. Tripolitania, great. You're also going to come from here and invade Puerto Rico. There you go. Oh, you have other orders. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Nope. You don't. Any other ships? Yeah, two more ships. Good. Oh, yeah. Put them on this first, first fleet. That's definitely necessary. Oh, we're still out of manpower. It's so bad. It's so bad. Please tell me I can switch these marines around. I would love to have these guys as 40 combat with. Yes! Yes! As much as I love the Panama Canal garrison, this is definitely better. Nice. Plenty of naval XP for now. Let's see. That's good. So many military factories. Which is awesome, 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 awesome. Alright, so we've got all this making going along, which is great. We don't need to get any more rubber for now. Amphibious tanks. Build up some more medium tanks, because we want to get rid of our light tanks eventually. And then do some of that as well. Go up to three. We don't have any more army XP, which really sucks. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. How are you faring? You're actually doing okay. Oh! Oh boy! Oh no! They have probably gone to war with the Third International now. I don't have to get involved. Great! Great, 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 great. great. Can you actually help attack here, maybe? I want to see what happens. Can they pierce us? No, they cannot, which is good. Go this way. How many light tanks do we have in reserve? 549. Not bad. Pretty good. Don't worry about doing that, guys. Don't worry about it. Improved amphibious tanks, nice. It is 42, which means plane wise, we're doing pretty awesome, actually. Air wise, let's do that, and we'll do some more naval doctrine stuff. Don't want to forget that. Beat up the horses. Nice. Well, we want to make sure we get 42 artillery. There you go. Please tell me we're still mobilizing. Yes, good. Uh, you guys should be okay, so I'm going to let you do that for now. Alright, navally. I think it's time for us to get involved in a conflict. Ooh, another carrier. Nice stuff. 
So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven capital ships. So seven times four, and you need 28. Oh, that's not good. I guess we'll death stack this fleet then. Fine, whatever. Repair. And then do that. Should take an extreme amount of time, but it will take some time. Improvement. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I've never used these before, so that should be actually really exciting to use. Alright, so here. So doing very well. We only made 120 ish factories in this episode. I mean, this episode's almost an hour long. Like, that's why I want to make up for it a little bit for yesterday's, so. Alright, guys, stop training. I don't know what's going to happen when we get to the. The war, so you guys should be good enough to see what happens. Obviously, I have no idea. Oh, we know manpower too. God dang it, that sucks. Please tell me we're still mobilizing. Yes, we are good. Good, you guys are hanging out. Maybe so you're both still repairing. Please stop repairing. How long is it going to take you? Uh, actually, take him could take him a while. Oh, that's not bad. They're just destroyers, so it's not bad. Mobile. Mobile. Come on, come on. Once we're done repairing, we're going to launch an invasion. Plenty of, plenty, plenty of stuff. Get more fighters, though. That's great. Improve the previous tank arsenal that we have. 390 factories. I think that is really great. Martial law. And we'll end this episode with the next one. And it goes even on. Great. Control Congress. Second American Productive Lead. Let's do that one. So, as the largest part of the continuous American, contiguous, contiguous U.S. has been pacified, it is essential that American citizens remain vigilant. The reformation of the League as a free information system to report potential populists or cynical spies to the federal government and to discourage public protest. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we will go to war, I promise. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.